Hey everyone, this is Elena from Studio Denmark and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my watercolor stamp brushes for Procreate, which uh, you should have been able to load uh, watching my previous video. Now these are loading pretty quickly on mine because I've loaded them before, but I'm not going to lie, it takes a couple seconds, if it's the first time, it takes a couple seconds to load each one. Um, because these are really high resolution actual watercolor scans. Um, so anybody can make sort of a watercolor looking blob on an iPad, but this is the actual thing. This is the real thing. Um, super high resolution, so you can use just even a tiny corner of some of these things, and it still is going to look really good. Um, so, you know, go ahead and give it several minutes, um, maybe up to 10 or 15 minutes. Um, in order to load all of these brushes, all 196 brushes. And this is the only time you're going to have to do this um, because every time you open Procreate after this, you're going to have this watercolor stamps folder in your Procreate already, no loading required. So I'm sorry for the wait, but just give it some minutes and I promise you're not going to regret it. Okay, so I've got all of my brushes loaded up now. And if yours are still loading, you can always just watch the rest of the video while you're waiting for that. Um, but I've got a couple different categories. I've got these papers, which I'll show you how to use in a minute, and a lot of florals and branches, some different brush strokes and circles, and I've got these splashes, which you'll notice they're similar to the washes, which are down here. Where are they? There they are. But these ones just have been used with a, more of a flat brush, um, and then these ones more just have more of a sort of splashy quality to them. So that's why I divided those into two different categories. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to use the papers. Um, so I'm just going to select this paper four. And you can see up here I've got sort of a green color going on. And you can use pretty much any color you want with the paper except for white. So it doesn't really matter if you use green or black or whatever, but I'm just going to go ahead and switch to black. and make it pretty big over here. Maybe I'm going to actually go with number one. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and then tap right in the middle of my page. And you can see that it's just filled with paper now. And then another thing um, with the paper, I put the paper on the background layer and that looks fine. But if, if you want to really tie everything all together, a good tip is to put the paper layer on top of everything else. And that sort of makes it all a bit more cohesive. So that was just a quick overview of the brushes available in this kit and for a demonstration that is more in depth of how exactly to use them, um, keep watching to the next video in the playlist.